At the point when the good book talks about mending, it includes recuperating for the life elements. Consider the account of the ten pariahs who asked Jesus for mending and were recuperated on their method for showing themselves to the ministers. Only one got back to Jesus and was pronounced restored by Jesus, while he had previously gotten actual mending. His completeness stretched out past that. God wants to do likewise for you, to restore your messed up heart once more and to empower you to live a day-to-day -day existence liberated from dread, with a brain settled and without consistent nervousness. In this way, when you read the holy book and run over entries that talk about being recuperated by the stripes of Jesus, Know that this applies to your emotional well-being and the condition of your heart also. This is God's will for you, to stroll in amazing well-being, soul, soul, and body. There are numerous ways the essence of God can liberate you from nervousness. Here are some of them. By showing you the specialty of give up, this might be one of the most troublesome illustrations to learn, but at the same time it's one of the main examples to advance as a Christian. We should figure out how to give our lives over to God. We will quite often need to control all that and change every one of the factors in our lives. Yet in all actuality if we have any desire to really carry on every day with the Almighty, we need to figure out how to put our lives in his grasp and entrust him with it. Abraham confided in God enough to leave his family and the country he was utilized to simply to go to a spot he didn't have the foggiest idea. Joseph believed God enough that he was able to take a chance with his situation as Potiphar's chief to satisfy God. Many individuals in the book of scriptures continually confided in God. The Israelites had no real option except to believe God while they were in the desert on their way to the guaranteed land. Their best way to eat was God's arrangement, and they needed to figure out how to give up. If you have any desire to carry on with a daily existence genuinely liberated from steady tension, then you'll need to let the sacred soul show you the craft of give up and embrace it with all you have. There ought to be compelling reason need to stress when you understand that your life is at this point not in your hands. You have zero command over certain circumstances. So it's a waste of time to stress over it, there's really no need to focus on it, since you can't transform it. By assisting you with embracing his tranquility, one of the products of the essence of God is harmony. This doesn't generally mean the sort of harmony you have when everything is going okay. All things considered. It implies the sort of otherworldly harmony you have when you're confronted with fiascos. The product of the soul is in you on the off chance that you're a devotee, on the grounds that the essence of God is in you. This implies that his tranquility is additionally in you. You want to embrace it instead of overlook it. Try not to give it along these lines. You can have truckload of cash in your bank. Yet you'll continue to endure in the event that you don't pull out that cash and spend it. You experience harmony, and you can decide to embrace it when everything around you is going off the deep end, or then again you can decide not to. You need to remind yourself when your psyche is stressing north of 1000 potential outcomes that you experience the harmony of God and you will pick harmony. At the point when it gets challenging to recollect that, request that the essence of God fill you with his tranquility. At the point when Jesus was in the boat with his devotees one day, an extraordinary tempest began, and the followers were so terrified they assumed they planned to suffocate. However, around then, Jesus was sleeping. One of the pupils felt free to awaken Jesus. Jesus reproached the breezes, and everything became quiet. Jesus showed us something through that. The best reaction to inconvenience or issues isn't stress or dread. Some of the time the capacity to rest even while there's a tempest is significant. You experience to figure out how to embrace harmony in any event, when everything is by all accounts topsy-turvy. By instructing and reminding you to supplicate more than you stress. The essence of God solaces us, 
However he additionally directs us and instructs us, he helps us to remember the expressions of Jesus and trains us the best approach. So one of the manners in which he could assist you with conquering tension is by showing you and reminding you to ask more than you stress. At times the most ideal way to alleviate your restless heart is by going to God in supplication. Convey your concerns to God, he never becomes weary of hearing from you and he's not irate that you're asking him to help you. Never feel embarrassed to carry any issue to God. Nothing is excessively little or too enormous to even consider conversing with God about. For this reason the essence of God trains us to supplicate, so through petition we can give up of our concerns and spot our issues in the possession of the person who can really follow through with something about them. We're setting our confidence in him. Jesus said in Matthew 11. 28. Come unto me, all ye that work and are weighty loaded, and I will give you rest. We can find rest for our restless spirits when we come to Jesus, by soothing you. Once in a while the nervousness we face today is the consequences of the experience we have had in the past and our apprehensions about what might occur from now on. The essence of God might liberate us from nervousness by encouraging us. We might recuperate the injuries from a long time ago that are making us stress over each easily overlooked detail in the future. In some cases what we really need is solace, realizing that regardless of what we face will be okay, God will accompany us through everything. The three Hebrew men in the book of Daniel represented their confidence, and were not going to bow to the picture that the Lord had made. Yet, the discipline for this position was that they would be tossed into a heater. Regardless of how solid-hearted they were, they probably been stressed over what might occur to them particularly when individuals who tossed them in passed on from the intensity. Notwithstanding this, they pursued their decision. The fascinating part was that they were in good company in that fire. The Lord saw a fourth man in the fire. God was with them through the entire experience, and his presence helped them despite the fact that they went through a great deal. They emerged from the fire solid. This is how the presence of God can help you. It can comfort you. Simply realize that regardless of how troublesome what you're stressed over is, the essence of God is in you, soothing you. God maintains that you should carry on with a daily existence where your psyche finds a sense of contentment. Figure out how to rely upon him and rest in him. It could be hard for you to battle the concern all alone. However take it to him and ask him to assist you with defeating it. Furthermore, request that he mend you, allow him to mend your wrecked heart and restore you once more. Completeness is conceivable in Christ. In him and with him, you can carry on with an existence of genuine harmony that passes generally understanding. Ask with me, I thank you, Father, for the endowment of supplication. Much obliged to you since I can continuously come to you with my